So, tonight... So, we are going to be talking about winners from the first round of the May Young Classic. And I want to give a shout-out to JJ from the Wrestling Observer. Got in a bit of trouble for doing this. He got talked to, and he said... They said, no, no, don't post the results, baby. So... First of all, just there want to say thank you. There goes your spoiler alert logo. Oh, nice. <clears throat> I just watched you move it into frame. I did, because I put it together last minute. Anyways, so... Did you just put it together? No, I've had that. It just I just, it just it came to me now to put it up. I got gotcha. you. I could have had it set earlier. Anyways, so tonight they filmed the first round of the Mayon Classic. Now, they had a dark match with... Kind of baffled me why they used this girl in dark match and not put her in the tournament. It was Britt Baker versus Tesha, Pr- Tesha Price. And Britt Baker did go over. Yeah, and it's interesting to me that they didn't put Britt in the uh, in the tournament itself. Yeah. And it's rather interesting to me. And I'm pulling up the results here on my phone if you got to take them. care I got them all written down. Well, if you got to take care of something. Why would I? I'm just saying. I don't know. If, I don't. Did you not hear that? I think that's from outside. Oh, okay. I got you. I thought it was you. Okay. Cool. All right. So, going forward, if you don't want spoilers for the Mayan Classic, click off now. Here we go. Look. So, look what? Borat Borat trolls. I'm not saying I agree with you. But okay. Ooh, yikes. You think you are freaking Scott Hall? (laughs) This ain't ringside news. It wasn't even his account, which is a sad thing. It wasn't even his account. Tim's talking to his kids right now, baby. So we do have a little bit of a Chris McNutt with the two box. Tony Storm says the biggest pop hey, come here. Uh, at the parade of champs. Why are you still awake? Got to mute. Got to mute. Got to mute. We'll take, Tim, did, take Tim didn't mute himself. And cuddle with her. Maybe that'll help, okay? Tim didn't mute himself. <clears throat> Rookie move. <laughs> now he did. So, like you said, Britt Baker did defeat uh, Oops, I Tessa thought I was Price. muted. <laughs> you weren't. <laughs> I was telling you, dude, mute yourself. Mute yourself. I thought I did click it. I just must not have clicked it hard uh, enough. Do you, do you, I didn't even talk about anything. I was reading the uh, the two box from Christmas. Right, so you so, want to take it? Yeah, I got this right here. Oh, goodness. So, <clears throat> May on Classic, they did all the first round. There was, what, 16 matches? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 matches. 32 women. Here we go. So, we've got Tegan Knox, the former Nixon Newell. God, I love her. Defeated Zatara. Zatara is a masked Mexican wrestler. Mm hmm. Who I believe lost in the first round last year. She was not in last year. She was not in? I thought she was. was. Maybe like, there's only like five or six girls that returned. Maybe I'm thinking of someone else. My bad. Everyone's you're, you're, you're probably thinking uh, Princess Suhi. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's how Everyone, you say your name. Everyone's laughing at you. It's all good. Look at you being a loving parent, you idiot. All right, so then we had Michael Cole's pick, Rhea Ripley, defeating MJ Jenkins. Oh, do we want to say who the commentary team was? Oh, yeah. Commentary team was Michael Cole, Beth Phoenix, and Renee Young. Now, do you think that's a premonition of who can be the commentary team for Evolution? Yeah. Renee and and Beth? You think they Uh, throw Michael Cole in there? Yeah, probably. Why not, dude? But it's an all-women's pay-per-view. You can't have a guy at the all-women's pay-per-view. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be men at the event. <laughs> that crowd was mainly men. Oh, speaking of the crowd, both Rebel and Rosemary were sitting in the crowd. Interesting fact. It's unknown if they're going to be shown on camera or not because no one said that the cameras were in their faces at all. You never know where the hard camera pans to. Mm-hmm. But they were seen sitting in the crowd. Also, Smo Joe chilling with sunglasses on, watching in the front row. Someone tweets out, this woman's division is so bright, Joe needed sunglasses to watch the tournament. Anyways, Rhea Ripley defeated MJ Jenkins. We then had Lacey Lane defeats Vanessa Craven. We get Miko Satomura defeating NXT UK star Killer Kelly. I like Killer Kelly a lot. She's very good. You know who I'm sad not in it this year? Who? Viper. She signed with World Sport. I know. I she, love she, Viper. She technically couldn't be. Viper's just the best. We then get Marty Skrull's girlfriend, Diana Perrazzo, defeating another, I think she signed to a UK deal. Persil- no. 
Yeah, Priscilla Kelly. Yep. I think she's signed to you. She might not be, actually. Uh, we then have, I think it's uh, it's Zuxis defeated Ariel Monroe, or Ariel Monroe. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's spelled Ariel, but the way Michael Cole said it was Ariel earlier, so I don't know which was the exact way to say it. Mm-hmm. We then have uh, Casey Catanzaro defeated Reina Gonzalez. If you don't know who Casey Catanzaro is, she's from American Ninja Warrior. And things that I have heard, apparently because of her background with the Ninja Warrior stuff, she can do stuff that basically no other woman that's ever been in the Performance Center can do. I'd imagine. I mean, that, that <clears throat> fucking show's grueling. Yeah. We then had an interesting one. Mercedes, Mercedes Martinez. I like her. Defeated She's Ashley amazing. Rain, the former Madison Rain. And apparently, that crowd did not want to see Madison Rain there or Ashley Rain. From the multiple people I saw posting on Twitter, they were just like, this crowd just shit all over Rain. Mm-hmm. Like you heard when they did the, the Parade of Champions thing, she didn't even get a good reaction. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kaysen, yes. Uh, we then got the former Divas champion, Caitlin, defeating Kavita Devi. Yeah, I forgot she was in it. What's Everybody's... her finisher again? Who, Caitlin's? Yeah. Spear? Oh, I thought she used to use. She used to use a spear. Spears are too overused now. We then had Tony Storm, UK star, WWE UK star, taking on another WWE UK star in Ginny. Respect Gaming with a $5 Super Chat donation. I can see Heyman turn on Brock at SummerSlam and work with Roman. And do I see Bobby Lashley next up for the championship? We'll talk about that. I have some stuff to say about the Heyman stuff. Hey, man. So Tony Storm defeated Ginny. Make it out of the first round. We then had Zaya Lee defeating Karen Q. A lot of people were upset about this because Karen Q has made a name for herself on the indies and in Ring of Honor and stuff. And they're like, why put Karen Q over – or why, why make Karen Q beat – or get beat by Zia Lee, and it's mainly there are two girls that weren't going to go far in the tournament anyways. WWE really didn't care who won or lost, and Zia Lee's got the seniority. Yeah. I mean, that's how I see it. And another one that shocked me with the winner, Mia Yim over Allison K, the former Sienna. <sighs> Mia Yim. I have two picks for the tournament. Uh-huh. Tegan Knox and Mia Yim. Those are my Mia Yim's probably not going to win it, but I really like Mia Yim. I I love her. She's just the best. Michael Cole's pick was Tegan Knox. My pick is Te- no, it's no, not. It his, it- no, no. Rhea Ripley was his black. It was his black horse. Back, yeah, black horse. And Tegan horse? was his no dark horse. Dark horse. dark horse. That's it. Dark horse. And Tegan was his pick. Pick. That's what he said during the Parade of Champions. I got Tegan. So then we have Hiroyo Matsumoto defeating Rachel Evers, who they just mess with every time she works for them yeah i mean if you remember last year yes she won her first round match but she wasn't supposed to she was supposed to lose to marty bell in the first round but then they said this marty bell sucks yeah she switched the finish mid-match so that's that's two years in a row technically she was gonna lose in the first round <clears throat> you then have i like how uh julio caesar says you can't have me Yim lose again but like I just said, you have Rachel Evers losing again. Yeah. You then have Tynara Conti beating Jesse Elabon. Nicole Matthews defeated uh, UK star Isla Dawn. And in the main event of the night, Io Shirai over Zaya Brookside. Zaya Brookside, the youngest woman in the, in the tournament at 19 years old. That's the same age as me. Her dad yeah, uh, is a trainer uh, at the Performance Center. Yeah, a rather good start to the first round. I'm excited to watch it on the network when it does air. Do you um, know when it airs? I uh, fuck no. August 5th is the August. first match or the first August 5th. So what I no. think they're doing No, 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 it's not August 5th. September 5th. So I think they're going week by week like they did with the Cruiserweight Classic to start on August 5th. Well, technically it starts on August not August, but it starts August 29th with bracketology, running down the matches for the first round with Moro and Beth Phoenix. That next week, September 5th, they will then air the first match or the first episode of the Mae Young Classic. And I do believe they're going to go week to week instead of dropping four and four like they did last year because they want to go week to week right leading up to Evolution where the finale is going to be. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. Because if you think about it, last year they dropped them on a Monday. This year, their first episode's a Wednesday. 
So I think that's why they're going to do week to week.